Here's a small segment from the Pre-Patch Podcast. Enjoy. I actually titled the name of my stream, We Play Bad Games. Okay. Um, okay. So, so low oh. expectations, right? So I it. went into this with, like, nothing. I was just like, this is going to be bad. Like, I've not heard anything good. Like, I just was not really feeling it uh, at all. But I was like, you know what? I got it. I'm going to try it. Um, full disclosure, okay. I got the game for free. Like, I, I did not pay a dime for it. So uh yeah hashtag sponsored no i'm yeah. not sponsored. i know it's not sponsored <laughs> what, what what game is this that yeah what game is so, this so this is oh, this God. is this is flintlock uh the siege of dawn is is the name of the game no um so, i'm watching these little squirrels just so, jump yo, around yeah, yeah, she, stuff. Just so really okay so off the full, full transparency i, what the I wasn't game sure is, if right? there were pets before or no, first. so it, it uh it, it just so this is a god it, it, and it randomly will do that by a cliff like you play as this, uh, as a basically um, this person. I can't. I don't. I don't know if it's like in the 1800s or around that time frame. But I'm. You kind of. That's what you're expecting, right? It's like the old. You know, you're using flintlock muskets and guns yeah, like that. Like so you can kind of assume it's, it's old school. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And the whole concept here is that basically, um, there is uh these gods, and uh, it's basically you up against magic and you pissed off a uh, one guy got pissed off um and is starting to destroy gunpowder because well gunpowder can really affect the gods like that's the way to kill the gods and beat the gods and all of that kind of stuff that's hilarious um, i don't know why so that's it, such a funny that's concept that's fucking to me. awesome that's so awesome. it's america in, in, <laughs> it's, it's america <laughs> against it. the gods yeah, yeah. you yeah. beat me to it the american yeah. way yeah yeah right so yeah wow. so you it is um uh, like i said you, they're, they're, so that's the premise of the game um, you are you are imbued with magical powers because you survive and you come across this like fox squirrel thing um, that really loves jumping off cliffs like it will yeah. just yeet itself off the side of a fucking cliff, um, you know, uh, but it will magically pop up and appear. And basically this god like imbues you with magical powers um, that you can, you know, um, do like where you can summon the god to. Uh, attack certain beings you can uh, or enemies you can have it like uh, you know go up in the air and like stun them and they'll they'll float for a little while uh, or you get to do like an ultimate attack when the little diamond over in the far right hand corner fills up and you've done enough damage um, <clears throat> you will be able to do this ultimate attack which basically like electricity and shit just shocks everything around you uh, kind of cool um, so okay. yeah he, he, the story don't give two fucks about like i yeah. i could care less about the oh, story I mean, she's playing a it. game so nobody's surprised. even i tr dude you know what i've sat through all the fucking cut scenes i didn't skip one <laughs> fucking piece of dialogue i watched uh, it all uh, don't I'm give story a fuck. Buff. i i honestly think that story concept sounds like trash <laughs> it's it's not it's not great right uh the story yeah, is i yeah. don't think is very compelling um yeah, from, from what I've heard with the so with is, Flintlock, like that was the biggest thing with Flintlock was like it it, it didn't do well when it first released. It, it, granted, it's not an old game; it's it's relatively new. Yeah, it's still new. Uh, but right, from what I've, from what I've heard, a lot of people have said, have said that the like the dialogue, the the story is not super intuitive or amazing. So no, so now is not, there another forward drive to actually want to play this game? Then is there anything good about it? Uh, yes, yes. So the this it is a it is a souls like right it is very mm -hmm. reminiscent uh -huh. like you, you just you well you just saw so like you go and you rest at like that was the uh, bonfire at bonfires well you know quote unquote bonfires there are these like load stones or well, i forgot what they call them but they're these basically spots that you sit down and you'll load into and it resets the world it lets you get your health back and all these other kind of things um and you know there's uh big bosses that you fight it's a little it can be a little bit difficult or unforgiving if you don't you know perform combos appropriately or whatever but here's the thing that i actually think the game does well like the combat feels good like i don't i don't feel inhibited by what i'm doing it plays good it plays well on a mouse and keyboard um i actually love the platforming in this quite a bit like it really um lends itself because like you basically have almost three sets of jumps so you have your normal jump your double jump and then you can kind of like launch yourself with an ability that uh lets you kind of project yourself forward so you have a lot of cool spots that you can get to and the game actually pretty much says like hey if you can kind of reach it you can get up there 
Um, and there's actually secrets they in a lot of places. You? I was yeah. about to say, how there's, rewarding is it to actually they, go and look for all the so, stuff? So, for instance, spoiler alert, I mean, this is a very, 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 very early part of the very, of the game, right? But this mountain that you're looking at, at the very tip of it, you could actually, like, parkour yourself up there, and there is a an item up there. Um, you know, it could be just as simple as, like, a skeleton. Uh, it could be, um, you know, crafting materials. Uh, or it could be, like, something that you actually need, like a, like a, uh, um, not need, but a grenade. Um, or an upgrade to your your flask, if you want to call it like an essence flask, um, all of that kind of stuff. Well, that's um, good. Games like this definitely need that sort of we, uh, uh, aspect. We're, we're we're going from flintlocks and black powder to grenades on top of mountains. Like uh, that's that's yeah, a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you're also seeing here where like I'm 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 unlocking these like travel beacons or travel triangles. Um, essentially, it is using the god to traverse the world. Um, and yeah. what else, what else, the other thing I like about this too, is it, it doesn't limit you on where you can like go. Like I am in an area I am not supposed to be in. Like I clearly figured that out whenever I started to fight one of the bosses, I was like, Oh, I'm not supposed to be here yet. Um, of course my stubborn ass died and was like, no, fuck that. I'm not leaving until I do defeat what I'm supposed to, what I'm here. No way. And I, and, and I did, way. <laughs> I did. Um, but you know, you unlock these villages, which then kind of push the rebel, um, or like the the force that you are against. Cause basically there are people that are like for like this Alliance. I, it almost sounds like against star Warsy, but like, it's like for the, the, the rebellion and against the empire, it's kind of the same principle. Like it's people that are for the gods and people are that are against the gods. Uh, um, there are really cool enemies types. Like you have humans and just in the first like hour and a half, I, uh, like I witnessed, uh, enemies, bird. I witnessed like uh, humans, birds. Uh, you know, like people that were throwing like venom at me. Like a lot of different enemy types. So, like all in all, like I, I honestly, the game's not terrible. The story sucks, but like the game itself and gameplay and having fun. Uh, I was having quite a bit of fun with it. Like I actually Are there different was, weapon types and stuff. Yeah. So there's also like you have different um uh, hatchets. Uh, you can equip two different weapons at a time. Um, and then you have your pistol, but you'll also have like a flintlock. Uh, musket that you can that you can pull out um they the the loot system has uh you know uh different um tiers you can add affixes like flames to it uh some of it will have like um electricity and sold and other types of is, damage is that like dark souls where it's like you use like a item or something to imbue it uh no so like or i found it an actually axe. like a permanent like yeah, it's a permanent like thing. A I, permanent I found, prefix. yeah, yeah. I found an okay. axe that had like fire attached to it, so it did fire damage. And, and the so axe cool. actually like has a flame to it. That's one big thing. That's for a me. bit more ARPG, and I, I like that. That's yeah. that's kind of Dark cool. Souls has that too. So I can't oh, I, stand well, when a game gives you a loot, gives you some type of loot, and you don't get to see like it doesn't look any different. The character just looks the exact same. Uh, these yeah. weapons actually do change the look of your character and all of that kind of that's stuff. Good. So what about um, armor and stuff? uh so yep you find different armor um okay. they put a big emphasis on cosmetics that have no like benefit to your character at all um so i don't i don't know why like you go to this like Maybe it, it, a transmog system I mean, later yeah but it's yeah. really it's really in your face like i was like you don't see like a, a big is this system a live? In, in games like that no is this a live service. service game nope okay i was about nope. to say if this is a nope. live service game i'm gonna flip my lid bro right nope. yeah <laughs> Um, and um, you're, you're seeing some of the first combat, uh, here, like of actually like where you'll have shielded enemies. You have to like hit, get a bar up to like break their shield. Um, and then you'll be able to do like an attack where you're like, you'll, you'll go into the cinematographic, cine uh, kind of, uh, style and you'll rip the shield out from under them. And, and, and again, it feels good. Like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel bad. Like when I, when I heard the negative stuff around this game, I was like, oh, this game is going to feel really shitty. Um, and it doesn't. It plays really well. I was actually yeah, having a hard what, time pulling like myself away. Looks like it plays all right. To me, <laughs> it's, it's what, like the what... animations look a bit like, uh, like skatey and floaty, but they don't, yeah. they're not the worst animations I've seen. It's just like the way they interact with things is a little finicky, well, it seems. It's... Oh, good. That's I was about to say that's kind of what you uh, you YouTube chat is saying right now is like this is the most positive I think I've I've heard somebody talk about this game so that's far like <laughs> reviews wise like I every review that I have seen has been like the fucking story is shit the gameplay is terrible I don't understand I, how to do this like they <laughs> I don't mean, know if like, you go on Steam reviews right now it's it's sitting at a seventy seven percent mostly positive so. I mean, I mean that's, that's only surprising. out of 446 reviews yeah but right but still a mostly still, positive that's not bad 
Like, from, Steve, from what yeah. I'm looking at it, I I can understand well, maybe the Soulsy type feel to it. It honestly has kind of a Stellar Blade ish feel to it with the platform with like how the double jump functions yeah, and stuff yeah, like this, that too. So this this one this one was the one I uh, that we saw on I uh, what was it was it Summer Games Fest I believe I think so, that I was saying yeah. that that I was saying I I feel like this feels to me like I. Uh, what was, what was the name of that yeah for spoken this, yeah, this looks a lot thought, like for yeah. spoken to me yeah with the god stuff and like the tra traversal i could see well, just like the sure. traversal and, 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 and the main the character mechanics. Even. yeah, yeah. Like, the, yeah the next I, game i, I we talk that. about i think i to me feels more for spoken than this one but um oh yeah maybe i don't know like look I, here i i the both games that, that i'm going to talk about this one and then the next one i think suffer from one key problem and i think if this would have been changed it would have skyrocketed these games to being instead of mostly positive mix or not liked to being like, yeah, you know what? Good game. I'll take it. It's worth it. The pricing of these games are fucking not right. Like this game, I yeah. think is 70 bucks. It does not need to be $70. <laughs> I don't think it warrants wow. the $70 price tag or six or $60 price. I'm pretty sure it's 70. I'm almost at hundred percent. I'm sure. seeing it at 40 bucks right now. It's 40 or is, it's on Lock, sale for 40. I don't think it launched at 40. I could have sworn it launched at fucking 70. No, this one's sitting at, mm. uh, sitting at 40 on Steam, no sale. Okay. Typically, well, you don't see games drop price like that. So Okay, so I mean, geez, either we, even, do, even, but... even still at $40, <laughs> I think it's overpriced. I'm just going to, like, because the next game is also $40, and I think it's overpriced. Um, it, I don't, like, though visually it's a beautiful game and I understand they got to get their money back, but like, you're not going to get your money back. If the game is overpriced. People think it's bad for the price that it is. If it was priced at like visually, it's probably the weak part of it. I was going to say what I'm saying here. It, it, it to doesn't, me yeah, it doesn't like Hogwarts legacy. Yeah. Well, Hogwarts it legacy, doesn't, they spent a shit ton like, of money like, on like, the like, best thing cheap. visually for this right now is the like, the finnick fox bird thing that's following you and its I mean, ai I, is i'm just saying cracking that... me up i can't take it seriously <laughs> i know to, it just eats itself off a of fucking cliff to me comparable to the next again i'm i'm going to show the next game but the next game uh i think this is the better of the looking of the two personally so before bef before we go on to that oh, i no, just I'm, wanted yeah. to bring up yeah like like moving like going on to like the uh the critics reviews like Critics are are saying that it's it's great. They're they're very positive about it. But like Metacritic on on when it comes to like user scores, it's a four point one. It's generally unfavorable with fifty five percent. I think that it's a little <laughs> it's a little harsh. It's like, kind of crazy. I don't know. Like I, I I had fun. That's a wild difference between the Metacritic yeah, and Steam. Dude. Usually yeah. they're it's pretty crazy. on point with the Steam user yeah. and Metacritic user. Like I don't know. I just I had fun with did it play the game console? and the other side. This, uh, uh, yes, it was on console. This this guy says he didn't like the protagonist. The protagonist was uninter or was not interesting at all. Weapon upgrades are useless. They barely do anything. Story is so generic. It lost me after five minutes. I'll uh, agree with that. I finished one. the game, but didn't I mean, enjoy my time. I give it a two because it's it, it's free. It's a short. It wasn't free. What are you talking? It about? was on Game Pass. He's probably talking about. It oh, was it on Game? Okay, oh, that okay. makes yeah. sense. Okay, yeah, that's I mean, definitely the place for to play I, this game. <laughs> I just I think that this is again an area where it's like you know what? I think we gamers are harsh on. I don't know, man. Like, look, I, I had fun with the game. I can only give you my honest opinion of the game. Like I had a fun hey, blast. Enjoyed it. I, like, I, I, I mean, yeah. I enjoyed it. Like, you I know, enjoyed for spoken. So yeah. we're, we're allowed I, to our opinions. I, I think that it's giving a little bit, it's getting a little bit of fucking uh, too much hate for what the game is. I don't know what people necessarily expected out of it. I don't know. Like, I mean, there's definitely games that come out in worse states that we don't give as much crap to. So yeah, I don't, I mean, this is like, I had a blast and the, the combat system was fun. Um, the Especially one triple A titles. Here, here, here's the negative that I will say. I, so you're seeing up in the left if you see on the left hand side where it keeps my percentages right and my hits like that keeps going up and up and up um that is your souls so you don't get them for killing something you get them for more consistently like your combat and then you have to acquire them so you have to hold down i think on i don't know what it is on 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 keyboard i can't remember but it's like i think tab or some shit but you hold down tab and then it will basically absorb that percentage and you get those souls locked in um, or oh, the, the, the stuff to you, which is used as your again, it's souls. It uses your currency to upgrade and do all those kind of things. That's really weird. Like it, that just doesn't it, it's very disjointed because I'm like, like, OK, so I'm at six percent. Now I'm at 12 percent and now I'm going to hold the button and, and now I'm going to absorb my I'm like, what? 
wait a minute like what i i don't know it just it means so so i don't hit the button or i get hit then all my all the souls that i acquired are gone like who's holding this percentage why is it a percentage i that I don't shit is mind weird. it too much yeah I, it's just weird because like in this case like all of the because okay, I so i'm locked in the middle of that fight i i fought those two guys but because i didn't hit the button to absorb the percentage uh i got hit by this guy and i lost it so i'm like okay so the two guys i just fought did nothing for me like i did i got nothing out of it and yeah it's my own fault because i didn't hit the button to absorb it but it's also kind of like well, uh well that sucks <laughs> i don't know it's weird so man. it's just so, a so mechanic what? just to, it's interesting you always have to remember to just absorb yeah. your souls whenever you collect them yes so well, so, so whenever this, something dies, you get the base amount of souls, and then that percentage is how much bonus you get onto it. So it gives you the option: do you want to continue for a higher bonus, or do you want to absorb okay, it now or, and just and just bank it? It's like uh, Tony Hawk. So there's a little bit of give and take, but as soon as you get hit, it like reverts back to zero. I don't mind that too and much. Actually, that gets you that, more. That's kind of nifty. I guess I that's kind of. I, cool. I didn't like. That. I didn't like it because I was like, "Fuck! I gotta so, keep hitting this fucking button." So this is this is made by A44. I the A A24, you said? A44. <laughs> yeah. uh, is, are they a division of fucking A24? A24? No. <laughs> not that I, know. I will change my it's review scale. right now and fucking say this game is shit. Uh, so the, it, it was it was made by A44 and published by Kepler Interactive, which are the guys that do Cat Quest and, and everything like that. This is their second game. Um, they did they did another game that we I don't know if we covered it was called Ed's it's called Ashen you guys remember that mm -hmm. it was remember released Ashen. like last year yeah. did not yeah. did not get received very well even even that one didn't get received very well so I'm curious if people were like expecting a different like a better like a new better portion of the of the video game publishing or development development team from that but I mean it's not yeah, like, I don't know, man. Thing, it's not bad like people need to stop fucking hating on it so much it's not really that bad I, don't, I, don't I mean know. I don't know man anyway I don't know it's that's it that well here you go it's it's flintlock uh if you have game pass you can play it for free it's worth the play I still have it installed on my system I still plan on playing more of it I'm enjoying it uh 40 bucks I think it's a little much. Maybe wait for it to go on sale. <laughs> um, and you know, I think Played the thirty. On game pass. I think thirty dollar price point is 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 right there. Like, I think that's that's worth it to me. Forty is a little much. But. I think it's I think it's a twelve to twenty hour uh, like main storyline too. So it's 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 not yeah, terrible it's not for, for content. Forty bucks, yeah, yeah, honestly. Thanks again for checking out the Patch Notes, part of the Pre Patch Podcast, which we do live every Thursday night at ten thirty p.m. Eastern. Or you can check us out on anchor.fm forward slash prepatch podcast or any place that podcasts are listened to. Thanks again. Much love. <laughs>